be a guy out there who executes. Go out there, execute, play 100 miles an hour. Go out there, be fit, fast, physical, take care of your job, make sure you're accomplishing the task and making sure that, again, we're keeping our guys clean. Joe's got good run lanes, and we're executing the game plan. How much does your experience at center help you at, at the card position? Well, that's the fun thing with Trey and I right now, because, you know, with Trey, if I when I get my opportunities at left or right, um, you know, Trey's... <laughs> It's always a checks and balance. Like, all right, hey, Bill, would you go to this guy? I'm like, yeah, that's what I would based on that look. Um, and it's been really good sitting in film study next to him, um, just being able to sit there and go, okay, hey, this is my, my mindset, my thought process, how I look at this. And especially with some of the defenses, they run that 3-4 compared to a 4-3 and some of the things that, and how that changes us. Um, so it's been a really good balance. Uh, and again, having all the experience at center, uh, playing guard back in college, you know, getting opportunities to you know, play out here now. Um, you just continue to build the resume and, Show the skills that you can do. So it's a collaboration going on between you and Trav. You guys I mean, Trey's running it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but <laughs> there might be a couple things like, right. hey, hey, what? Yeah, no, I would go there, you know, based on a safety or a nickel look. It's a big game for uh, John. He's going back up there. Mm -hmm. well, he's, he's giving you guys something. I mean, he's giving you some presence, of, you know, strong, silent type guy. Mm -hmm. What's he, you know, what's he brought to you? I mean, so, he's, he's, a stout, he's a solid, stout guy. Again, great work ethic, you know, very, very football savvy, has a lot of experience. Um, solidify that things on the right hand side over there, and I know uh, it's been a great for him and uh, him and Bobby. So, really, how does not being a starter affect you? See you on the sideline all all Sunday with the helmet ready to get in there. Yep. How has it changed your approach and affect you going forward? I mean, you just got to be ready for whenever the opportunity is. Again, the situation with Mike's very unfortunate, but uh, injuries are part of the game. Uh, you just get out there, and make when that when your number is called, and you better <laughs> you can either look like a fool and like you don't know what you're doing out there, or you can go out there and give your best effort, um, you know, and execute before the coaches think. So again, it builds trust with the coaches for somebody like myself who, um, you know, took a step back and taking a step forward as trying to resurge back into the starting lineup. You came back in with your helmet on. I mean, you walked back in after the game. It looked like you were still ready to go. <laughs> the game was over. Well, you never know with our fans, so <laughs> I got to keep my helmet on. I heard the Brown, Browns fans are a little crazy. <laughs> Billy, how much different can this team look with the better run game, a game that improves this week? Uh, I mean, if you look at the last six games last year, uh, I think that pretty much gave a good explanation of what defenses can expect. Again, you get Joe out there running around. Um, he's creasing, you know, getting getting in between people and getting up on the second level. And that's what we said all offseason. You get Joe on a second level, third level, and it's, it's going to be a good day for us. So just got to continue to work, continue to grind, and make sure that we uh, keep Joe, keep Joe uh, not dodging tackles in the backfield. So we'll be good.